In 2023, Mastercam has made it possible to lock dependent operations so that you can backplot or post them without having to regenerate them. So what that means is in a program such as this one, where I have my initial stock model, which is being referenced in my first roughing operation, which then helps carve my secondary stock model, which is being referenced in my opti rest operation, which is cleaning out these corners. If I make a change to this first stock model, I can lock all of these so that they're not gonna be affected so I can pulse them out right away. So let's take a look at how that would work normally. If I opened up this guy, and let's say my stock came in one eighth too big. And I'm gonna click okay. Now I see that this has become dirty, this has become dirty, and this has become dirty. So if I want to backplot, say this guy, it's gonna give me this error. If I wanna post it, it's gonna give me an error. Now let's reload the file and see what happens if we lock it before we do that change. So now what I wanna do is I wanna take all of these later operations and I'm just going to lock those. So now I can come in and change my initial stock model to reflect the change. And I'm going to regenerate this guy because this is really the only operation that should matter. So now that that's regenerated, I can go ahead and I can still actually backplot this guy. As you can see under my advanced display, I have dirty toolpath motion turned on, which is going to show me the toolpath motion of this guy. I can still backplot it. And I can even post it. So that way, if I change just this one main first operation so that I can clean up that extra stock that I had due to a bad saw cut, I don't necessarily have to update all my other toolpaths to keep going. I can do that at a later time when I come back and regenerate those all.